up guys it's iHost here and today I want to do a quick little video I'm going to show you guys how to fix the typo phone for lock screen and how to get a background like a nice little background on the back of this thing now what I mean by this is because when you first download this and put it on it's a nice lock screen it changes up and uh, you can pretty much use it with any theme now this is my own custom theme that I actually made I'll show you that this is my theme Right there, so I just named it Zach's Wallpaper, very first one. And what I'm going to be doing is, okay, what you're going to be doing, if you don't already have the Typo Phone lock screen, just go ahead into City and search Typo Phone Floor, be in the description below. And you're going to to fix the blinking eights, you're going to want to search iFile. Okay, so you can go ahead and download and install that if you don't already have it go into iFile and you should be at a screen hold on one second you should look at a screen that looks something like this if you're not just keep hitting the spot it's up in the top left hand corner and go down and scroll down to var and scroll down the stash then themes then typo phone 4 right there then style.css okay so now this part you wanna right here where it says image uh, the two dots and then URL it should say a bunch of stuff here just erase all that to make it say right there image URL lock background dot PNG make sure you change it to from like JPJ uh, JPG to PNG cuz that's like the confusing part I will have this in the description below for the instructions will be in the description below if you can't get this. So once you have that, go ahead and respring your device and you should not have the blinking eight problem anymore. You see my time is perfectly fine. No blinking eights. And now that you got that fixed, now you got this black background that you don't want. You see I got mine here. You're gonna need to know how to SSH, so go ahead and make sure your device is plugged in. And okay. So now open up WinSCP. Head and log into your phone or iPod or iPad. Okay. So now you want to you want to look at a page that's something like this. Scroll down to we'll actually find where it says stash. And right here stash. Okay. So now that you're in stash, go ahead into themes. Now you want to find where it says typo phone 4, which is mine is right up here. Typo phone 4. Go into that. Now we're here where it says lock background.png. So you're going to want to like delete it. Okay. So now you want to go to like Google Images. Hold on one second, I'm gonna check the size. Okay. So it's gonna be six forty by nine sixty. Okay, so right there. I'm gonna search that or whatever. So right here, how about this one? Okay, so here's the background I'm going to use for my type of phone 4. Save the picture as to like your desktop. Okay. So now mine's right there as you see it right here, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up with paint. And it's 940 by 960. So once you have it, go ahead and if you're using paint there in the top corner, you want to go ahead and click that. Save as. And then right here, you want to put this as a PNG file. 
and then rename this to make sure it's .png though and then rename this to capital L L O C K capital B G R O U N so it should say lock background .png go ahead and save it to your desktop actually hold on let me delete this old one that I have so that it doesn't say that it's going to name it to 2 or something like that so once you got that go ahead and save it Okay, so here it is on my desktop right here, .png. Just going to open up WinSCP again. Okay, so we're going to drag this and put it right in here. Copy. Okay, so there it is. Wait, wrong one. Sorry, that's not my lock background. My lock background .png is right here. Copy that one. That's the one you want. You want to say lock background right there. Okay. Now you're done on your computer. Go back to your phone. Now mine still looks like this. So what you're gonna want to do is go into your winter board, and reselect it, and then respring this. Okay, so let me just unlock it and relock it. So there you go. So now the background has changed to that little, it looks like a Mac, and the blinking E is not there. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.